What is a microbe? A microbe is a very small organism, like a bacterium or a fungus, that grows all around us. Microbes are invisible, and yet we wouldn't be here without them. Microbes have been around for billions of years. These were the first intelligent problem solvers on Earth. They're all around us, and they're playing all kinds of really critical roles to our health. They're protecting us from pathogens, they're training our immune systems, eating oil, they're degrading plastics, they're performing all of these incredible functions. The problem is we don't know how to take those functions and turn them into products that we can actually use and deploy. So the problem that Concerto is trying to solve is that even though these microbes are super important for our health, the state-of-the-art technology that we have for predictably influencing these microbes actually being able to interact with them is to kill them. So there's this huge gap between what we know about the importance of microbes and then the products that people actually have to interact with in day-to-day -day life. So what we are trying to do is bridge that gap and make it so that every microbial product that should exist actually does exist. And one of the main reasons that we haven't been able to translate what we know of nature, which is that microbes perform all these incredible functions, into products that we can use and deploy and manufacture, is that we just don't know which ones to choose. So that's really what Concerto does. It discovers the precisely correct microbes to draw from nature, manufacture at scale, and then redeploy to solve a problem. In music, a concerto is where you have some central player that has a symphony or an ensemble of instrumentalists around it that are trying to support that central player. And just like these instrumentalists bring out the best qualities of that vocal player, this is how we think about microbes. You have this one really important microbe whose behavior you're trying to persuade, bring out its best qualities, and so we figure out the right ensemble of microbes, and that's why we call our products ensembles. And when we take one of our uh, products, for example, ensemble number two, the main focal here is going to be the human, the human that we're trying to help. So we take an ensemble of microbes to help the human, to support the human. We started working on an entirely new way of actually studying how microbes interact with each other through a technology called K-chip, which is a way of systematically constructing millions of co-cultures. The name comes from the combinatorial math problem, the N choose K problem. So when you have a library of N things and you want to make all possible K size combinations, how do you do that? This is a K chip. On the surface of it is an array of 100,000 microwells. We put each microbial culture into a different set of droplets, and then we pool all of the droplets together and flow them over this array of microwells. These are combinations of microbes that you can study to understand how, by virtue of interacting with each other, you get new functions, new phenotypes. You're talking about millions, billions, eventually trillions of distinct different kinds of combinations, interactions. But once we've actually built those combinations on the chip, we use microscopy to actually scan through and observe how these microbial co-cultures are behaving. And this is what creates the data sets that we use to teach us how the microbiome works. This automated robot arm is about to move this K-chip onto the microscope stage. What you're looking at here is a bunch of pairwise combinations of microbes hundreds of different tiles just from this one K-chip. And each of these little ovals here represents a pair of microbes that are interacting. And so we can measure the activity of each pair of microbes in each of these different little wells. It took maybe four to five years just to develop the basic hardware that we use, the K-chip, to enable discovery in the first place. So this was 2015 to 2020, that whole time span. We started Concerto in 2020, which was a very strange time to start a company. And back then, the main thing that we were trying to do was just prove that the technology that we had invented at MIT could find a group of microbes that could be useful for something. One problem in particular that Concerto really cares about is atopic dermatitis. This is a skin disease, more commonly known as eczema, that affects millions of people, including me and one of my co-founders. And what we've discovered is that if you can find the microbes that are driving healthy skin, 
you can almost transplant them to someone that has eczema onto the skin topically. I mean, you can decrease the severity and the frequency of eczematous flares if you reconstitute that flare with a healthy population of microbes. We founded the company in 2020 and immediately began deploying the technology on this discovery project for eczema. And so we enrolled various people to donate their skin microbiomes. We swabbed their skin and built out a huge bank of different microbes, all candidates for the eventual product. And then we spent a good year screening combinations of those microbes, generating upwards of 6 million distinct data points. We had an incredible team of data analysts to sort of work their way through that ecology, all those interactions, to ultimately arrive at a few key hits, combinations of microbes that we thought had a lot of potential you know, to treat this disease. And then over the past year plus, We've been working on narrowing down to our ultimate final product, our final composition, learning how to manufacture those at scale such that we can bring them into our very first in-human clinical trial in 2024. That will allow us to show that K-Chip, our way of discovering new products, translates to products that actually work in real-world testing, in the clinic, in humans and see how that has an impact in real life. My primary role has been to build a team and, and build a capability within the company to get us to a state where we can actually go into regulatory filings. It's hard and for many reasons. Regulation around microbial-based products and regulation around combinations of microbes as a product is in its very early stages, so nobody really knows the best way to do it. Some companies have gotten to do it very well. We are learning from other companies, but we're also sort of discovering it from scratch and thinking from scratch, applying old regulation to new innovative products. It's complicated. It, it means a lot of brains need to come together and need to think outside of the box while still keeping humans safe. When I was thinking about what sort of company would I be interested in starting or like lab that I would be interested in helping to develop, it would be something where we could actually move medicine toward a more complex picture, where it's not about a single molecule that we're trying to change or a single protein. So we're gonna think about this at an ecosystem level. The science is developed enough that you could actually start trying to make medicines in this way out of this complex way of thinking about health. For me, I felt like this moment of these people coming together around this problem with this incredible technology was so unique. This exact moment in time of like, let's solve this problem with this technology, with this group of people uh, was super inspiring to me. And that consistently still is the thing that gets me up in the morning, um, unlocking the team to you know, try to change the world. I see this as an inevitable future. The future where microbe-based products is going to happen whether we do it or not. What's exciting to me is that we're working to bring this future, this inevitable future, to right now. So the question is not, is this going to happen or not? The question is, are we the right team to get it done? Or can we do it right now? And I think we can. Microbes are a super interesting subject in biotech. It's not just therapeutics. They could be things like topicals, food. There's like an insane list of potential products that could come from microbes. I also just thought Concerto's K-Chip technology and approach to designing that in-house, building out that rapid ability to test and try to discover great microbe fits is exciting and it's gonna be more exciting to watch them develop over time. If you haven't heard, we launched a news platform this weekend. A week ago, we had the idea and now we're, we're rolling it out and doing it. It's called S3 News. S3, the show is still staying the same. That's my main focus. But now I'm gonna work with a bunch of amazing people to try to turn S3 News into a decentralized, community-driven news source with the goal of spreading the good word of tech optimism. As you know, the core mission of S3 is to inspire people to go and change the world and we're hoping that this platform can just do that on a great scale at a higher frequency by sharing multiple stories a week and in general just being a hub for awesome tech positive content. We're going to put it all there and try to be the one-stop shop in your, your galactic spaceport for exploring the world of technology as we're building it. The best way to keep in touch with and interact with S3 News is going to be on Twitter. We also have a Discord community which now has over 200 people talking about tech, their interests, and writing stories for the publication which is insane. The one thing to know for sure is that it's community-based. It's about all of us coming together to write stories and share them with the world that are tech optimistic and exciting about the future. I want to give a huge shout out to Pillar, our sponsor for this biotech blackout that is now officially at an end. I'm like, I'm like sad. This was so fun. Pillar has just been an amazing partner every step of the way to, to work with. They're, they're very focused on this idea of founder-led bio. Instead of having large research organizations build biotech companies, they believe that small teams and visionary founders can go build a 
amazing biotech companies. I could say firsthand for partnering with Pillar the past couple of months, they're amazing to work with. And I know it's the same across the board for the founding teams they work with. So check out Pillar. Thank you so much for partnering with S3. And we're so thankful and honored we got to tell the world about some new biotech companies in this new general landscape of biotech that's emerging before our very eyes. That being said, we're, uh, we're coming back to non-biotech companies hard. Now, I don't want to jinx it and say we're a future next week, but we have a slew of incredibly cool companies across the board that are coming very, very soon uh, to the web series. So stay tuned. We got some exciting stuff coming for you. Thanks again for watching and keep on building the future.